Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 7th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're going to start out looking at the sun, courtesy of the Solar Dynamics Observatory. Watching something go in front of the image here on their images of the sun. Not sure uh, what that was. Slow it down a bit there. Might have been the moon, but I didn't hear anything about uh, partial eclipse or anything like that. Uh, it's kind of strange. I don't know what that was. But anyways, some beautiful images coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory. Watching a sunspot region coming in. The most action we've seen on the sun in a couple months. So, watch for some definitely geomagnetic instability on the sun and then space weather affecting our planet in the coming days. So magnetic. Beautiful images coming out of this. I want to thank you all for joining me today and joining in the, on the live streams this has been an awesome adventure and much love to all of my subscribers, friends and family from across the world. Please join me for tonight's live stream, Weird Weather Wednesday. And yeah, as I said, I'm truly grateful for all of the people who get in on the live streams. It's a great time. Always love and thoughts and prayers for everyone. So if you're new to this channel, I want to thank you for subscribing. Make sure you, that you hit that notification bell so that you're getting every daily update as well as the disaster alerts as they happen. And if there hasn't been anything major recently for earthquakes or typhoons, uh, it's been mostly the snow that people are talking about because the northern hemisphere is changing drastically. Polar vortexes on both sides of the planet, reaching as far down as Turkey and also Texas in North America. So I'm just going to show you here over parts of Russia and Alaska over the last week and a half. Large low pressure system coming in, atmospheric river, producing tons of snow across Alaska. You can see it's white now. So now that everything is buried in snow, watch for things to start dropping in temperature. So this is the next 10 days for accumulation of snow provided by Windy TY. Just showing you levels here in Iran. 45 centimeters in Iran. Higher elevations, of course. Parts of Turkey, 40 centimeters of snow. But these regions are getting early snow. 120 centimeters within the next 10 days. Parts of Newfoundland, Quebec, Ontario, right down into Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Texas border. British Columbia Mountains totally covered in snow right now. They're reporting the earliest ski seasons across the province. United States ski resorts are also opening up early. All across Colorado, Montana. Grand Solar Minimum much? We need to really open our eyes, people, and come together now. Be aware and prepared of the coming mini ice age, because it is on its way. We are not even at winter yet. These poor vortexes are already invading the northern hemisphere. God bless you all. God bless humanity. Let's check out the five-day forecast here with Meteor Earth, brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike. Watching those cold blue temperatures dip all the way down to what I said. Albuquerque, New Mexico, 
Texas border. Things are going to be pretty chilly here over the next week or so. Minus 10, probably feeling like minus 15. Bitter cold temperatures. Also watching for a pretty nasty nor'easter again next week. Week after week, we're going to see this nor'easter develop for the eastern seaboard. So stay aware and prepared. Southeastern United States and also Ontario and the Atlantic provinces next week for a pretty large nor'easter. As a lot of this moisture and energy is going to actually come from the Gulf and then join forces there with the Colorado low. That's where all that snow is falling in Montana and Colorado, straight down the west coast. So looking at these maps, they're changing drastically, especially the high pressure, low pressure ridge, the jet stream. Still large lows developing over the Aleutian Islands. Tropical moisture coming from Hawaii going all the way to Alaska, you can see there. Intertropical convergence happening all across the planet. Equatorial moisture mixing with very cold temperatures. Our ceiling has dropped. The cold air that is aloft is now pressing down on us. Look at this high pressure ridge built into Western Russia and Europe, dropping temps down to minus six, minus seven degrees Celsius. And look at the size of that low. Things are changing drastically, everybody, and I want everybody to stay aware and prepared and be ready for the inevitable because these disasters are happening and the earthquakes are happening as well. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes and still a lot of 4.0 and greater Richter scale earthquakes in a lot of places. This is our largest earthquake the last 24 hours reported this yesterday, the 5.3. But we've had movement in the South Georgia Islands and also the Mid-Atlantic Plate straight beeline north to another 4.7 northern mid-atlantic ridge aftershock still going off in greece in Nanjiang, china all these most recent earthquakes in china and everywhere else, the vast 4.0 and greater earthquakes are kind of worrisome for something bigger between now and November 20th, when we have a Mercury retrograde. So stay aware and prepared, folks. Much love to you all. Thank you for watching today. I'm going to leave you here looking at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Pay attention to your zone and please hit that like button, share with your friends and family from across the world. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.
Thank you.